Finally, about time to do that quest where you gotta find the dead body, I suppose. So let's go actually here. Investigate this. Alfred, I found a mutilated body, but this isn't the one Cash told me about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Investigate. You can't find a cause of death just from taking blood out, unless it's poison or something like that. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. I don't even know what I'm looking for here. Stomach? Maybe? Nope. Genitals? Nope. Testines? Nope. Oh. So this goes for the skin. I get it. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. So I found something at least. <laughs> no, I can't go that deep. No, no sex. Ideal. Okay, let's go. I've already been that deep. It's not gonna do anything. Bone wise, I think it's fine. Is that dislocated or is it normal? No, that's normal. I found a birthmark. What's that? That's something there. Yeah, don't be telling me it isn't. I can see it is. Look, what's that? That's not normal. Alright then, fuck you. No evidence. Is that normal? Of course not. Oh, something with them toes. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. So we're now looking for a person with frostbites in a birthmark. So what about this level of scan? The muscle tissue. There. That's what I missed the first time. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Well, got that part done at least. See what else I can do. 
Find the next I'm going camp. to investigate the body I found overlooking Divinity Churchyard. There's a killer at large. He must be stopped. Oh, you will be. As soon as I get there. What are we gonna do if Scarecrow doesn't pay us? Take him to small claims. So gotta fight. do I have to fight anyone? No. That looks pretty empty. That's why I said no. Uh, another level down. Oh, too much down. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Don't you need to kill at least three people to be a serial killer? That fingerprints or they've been burned off like the last victim because he didn't mention that. Let's see if there's any. What's that? No. The lack of genitalia. Oh. Burn mark. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. Ooh, that must have sucked. What's that? Kidney stone. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. Is that it? Let's go bone wise. It's cool to have a portable x ray machine like this. No, that that's still there, so I think it's part of the body. Somehow. There. Metal plate on head. A plate made of tantalum. Used here for a cranial fracture. Most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Another one done. Let's go find the. Someone killed, mutilated, one. and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Well, uh, I'm basically there. This pig scan the area. Yeah, I'm good. And yeah, that's it. Alfred. We can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. Let's uh, scan this. Let's see if we can find any marks on the body. No genitals. Just like all the others. No. Oh. I think I wouldn't miss that, would you? Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis. A birth defect. Let's go muscle tissue. What the hell? Swallowed the ring? My precious. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. Hip replacement. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. 
Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Okay, so the hunt carries on. 36%. The killer is mutilating and posing his victims and then putting them on display. He left opera music playing at the crime scene. He wants them to be found. I don't think that much we've... Yeah. So every time I come across opera music now, that's when another body is at. I don't think it's going to give me the location of any more bodies. Which is not very good, but you know what? It's fair enough. I suppose i got to find the other ones now. Because at some point in time, it just stops giving you the clues. Like, you gotta go fetch him. Like with the man bat. Stop. Oh. Hello. So long. What the hell? This chip will let me mimic Riddler's signals and give commands to his robots. Okay, so basically, I need another robot. No, 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 take down. I'm under attack. That won't work. Yeah, you stay there. Let's go here. Okay, from his reach. Yeah, you stay there. Gotcha. No, no. <laughs> well, let's get out of here because I've already got what I wanted. Do I go from here? Gotta go look at towers that still have lights on. There. I was gonna say, there aren't all that many anymore. Because I've taken out quite a fair few, but clearly there's still some around. Okay. So after I'm done with most of these side quests I still have or I will still have loads of DLC coming up hopefully there's loads because the season pass is quite expensive I think it's either as expensive as the game or a bit more or something like that so hopefully it's gonna be worth it I need to get closer too far away because so far away oh so far away so far um this time tomorrow, still too far. Got my money. Got a new identity lined up. I need to get closer. Really? He went this way! No! Phew, take it out. He's over there! Come on! So long, suckers. How many of them are there? I don't know. No, you won't. <laughs> you got knocked out. Actually, could I? Nope, not that, goddammit. 
that. Ah, oh, it's. I need to get closer. It's him. Shit. I'll go close to him, destroy his robot, and then take him out. This is gonna be a little bit extra long until I finish these guys off. How many more of them? Four. Just in a silent takedown without anybody else noticing. That's off. Oh, there he is. No, you won't. Divide and conquer, my Batman. You know the art of power. Instead of doing a uh, multi fear takedown, let's do two silence. That was the last one, as far as I know. Still got 20 seconds to do this. Oh, let's select explosive gel. Destroy this one and end the video in style. Blam. Base.